Right, I'm on my phone at the moment recording because it's easier. I'm just sitting outside the laundromat. It's been one of those missions this morning. I figured out where to park, where to do my washing. And that laundry decided it wasn't going to open. <laughs> there was no reason for it. It just wasn't open, even though it said it should have been open for two hours. So I've driven off and found another laundry and I'm just sitting here with Miss Fiends. It's a bit of a bugger because at the other one I can wander off and do other things. At this one, there's nowhere to go. So anyway, the joys of it all. <laughs> I needed to do some laundry. Um, and yeah, I'm just sitting here next. I think I'll stop in. So this is Mickey, um, who I used to travel with at the fair. There's actually a lot of new people. There's only a handful that were actually there when I travelled with them, but they all seem like really, really nice people, really bright, happy, energised, making beautiful crafts, so it's been really awesome catching up, having a yak with the people I've known for a long time, and also just having a look at their music, which is awesome, I had to dub over it unfortunately, because it was so loud it really <laughs> distorted, um, so, and I wasn't sure if it was a cover and YouTube would, yeah, have issues with that. So anyway, but beautiful music. The lady has a wonderful voice. Dogs are bored as they always are. Pets. These beautiful wind chimes are made by Pete, who I used to travel with with the Tinkers and Traders. Very creative person. They're beautiful. These are coin rings made out of old coins. They're pretty awesome. And the lady who makes them is really, really lovely too. So I enjoyed seeing them. And yeah, just seeing people wandering around, having a good time, enjoying themselves um, is really, really awesome. I really, really enjoyed yeah, having a good look around, seeing how people's stalls have changed and what they're now doing. This little girl's first candy floss on a stick, eh? Really? Yeah. Wow. That's going to be fun. It is. <laughs> you like that one? That's the rose quartz. Do you want to try it on? Yeah. So I've got the mirror here. Yeah, you've got like a And this is a sliding knot. Oh gosh. Alright, let's adjust this. Okay, so today I went to see the Gypsy Fair. I'm going to share some of that footage with you. Um, yeah, and it was fun. It was really awesome to see some of the people I used to travel with. There was a lot of new people though. There was only really a few there who were there when I was there. Um, but the new people were really neat. I met some neat new people and somebody I used to travel with years ago who's now joined them, Pete, and it was just really, really cool to see them, and they all seem to be in really good spirits and feeling good and happy, and yeah, it was a really, really nice vibe. It was lovely to stop in there, so I'm really glad I did that. I was getting a bit frustrated in town because the laundromat I was going to go to didn't open. It said it would open at 7, but it was, still wasn't open at 9.30, so I thought I'll stuff it and went to the one up the road. Oh, yeah, just checking that I had the mic on. So I went to the one up the road and did that and got a few things from the supermarket and then went to the gypsy fair, so that was pretty cool. And then I came back to where I've been parked. I'm waiting for some cables for my inverter to arrive. There was a bit of a fiasco in Wellington with <clears throat> Fastway or Emirex as they call themselves. Now they didn't seem to be able to actually deliver them. So, But they made it to my mailbox and now they're on their way up here. So hopefully they'll be here on Tuesday and then I can chuck those on. And yeah, and then slowly wander off from Taupo because yeah I've been here for a while now um, <laughs> I'll probably head back maybe through Mangakino or Fokamaru or somewhere like that um, spend a bit of time there yeah just cruise around a bit um, might go out to Fakaipo Bay after here I don't know yet um, see see where the wind blows me so but yeah it was fun visiting the gypsies because I didn't make it to Woodville because of my stupid stomach bug or whatever it was. Um, yeah, 
it was nice to catch up with them anyway so I wanted to shoot some footage there we actually got a few nice pictures as well and yeah the footage isn't perfect because I had some sensor dust on my sensor and I tried to clean it off the other day and didn't realize till I got the footage into my computer that it was still there so I've had another go so hopefully it's gone now very very much hope so ideally I need to take a photograph of a white wall might have to borrow the side of a white camper because I don't have one <laughs> and yeah and then have a look and pixel peep and see if there's still sensor dust on it so hopefully it's all good but yeah so if there's a few dots on the gypsy fair footage that'll be why but it's still cool <laughs> I've just been editing this video actually putting all the footage together and yeah it looks pretty cool despite the wee dots on it and yeah I didn't have my photographic lens on so I didn't get the most cinematic stuff but it was still cool to go to the gypsy fair at the moment where I've been saying there's been big horsey events so there have been heaps of horses running around and they've also had riding for the disabled which I watched the other day, they had dressage competitions, which are the para dressage competitions, and it's quite neat how they had it set up. They had these ramps for people to get their wheelchairs up, with a bit of help, of course, and then they can get on the horse. So I thought that was pretty cool to see. I didn't film that because I thought, you know, people might feel a bit funny when I, if I start running around <laughs> over there filming people clamoring on their horses and stuff. But very, very awesome to see. So it looks like my inverter cables, the ones I've got on there, they're just a bit light, a bit small, and I wanted to put some bigger ones on. So it looks like they hopefully should be here tomorrow. And then I'm going to head off somewhere different, I think. But yeah, I've been in Taupo for uh, over a week, I think. <laughs> a lot longer than I'd planned to stay here, but it was a good place to recover. You know, a good place to get my energy back up and start feeling better again. So I made a nice juice this morning. Well, quite a lot of it. Um, <clears throat> I really enjoy doing that. <coughs> Excuse me. And it makes me feel really good. It's a really good way to really get a lot of nutrition into my body. And especially after having a stomach bug, you know, when you've got the runs, you're not absorbing a lot of food and a lot of vitamins and things, you know. So, yeah, I did that this morning and I've just been pottering around with this video. Um, it's not an overly long one, but I think that's okay. But anyway, so tomorrow I'm going to head off. So I'll film that wherever I end up should be a nice place. Um, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, please like and subscribe. It really makes a difference to my channel. YouTube will actually show my videos if people interact with them. So, yeah, that would help. That would be wonderful if you could do that. And lots of love to you, safe travels, and see you again next time. <laughs> <laughs>